data breaches, ransomware, identity theft, cyber attacks, it feels like the online world is a battlefield now and whether you're browsing, shopping or working from home, we're all caught in the crossfire. Every click, every login could be the difference between staying safe or being the next victim. But here's the good news. You don't need to be a cybersecurity expert to protect yourself. So with a few smart habits, you can outsmart the hackers and keep your data safe. In today's video, I'm sharing 10 essential cybersecurity tips that will not only safeguard your privacy and personal information, but also give you a peace of mind as you navigate the digital world in 2024. Trust me, these tips are easy to follow and are incredibly effective. So whether you're a casual internet user, a freelancer, or just someone concerned about their online safety, this video is for you. Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to stay one step ahead of cyber criminals and browse the web with confidence. So ready to level up your online security? Let's dive in. So what we will cover is the latest cyber threats in 2024 and the best cybersecurity practices for everyone and the tools and technology you need to stay protected. Now, in a world where the data is more valuable than gold, knowing how to protect yourself online is more than just a good habit. It is a necessity now. So let's talk about the cyber threat landscape in 2024. So let's talk about what we are really up against this year. Now, the cyber threat landscape in 2024 has become more complex and dangerous than ever. Here's what's trending in the world of the online threats. Number one is phishing attacks. Now, these are not your typical spam emails anymore. Hackers are using like AI generated messages that look so real. They trick even the most cautious people. They clone legitimate emails from trusted organizations, making it nearly impossible to spot the difference. On top of that, we're seeing a rise in spear phishing where attackers target like specific individuals using personal details found online to make their messages feel more authentic. The next one we have is ransomware. Now, it is not just about high-level hackers anymore. So thanks to ransomware as a service, which is also termed as RAAS, anyone with basic skills can launch a ransomware attack. Now, these criminals are targeting both businesses and individuals, demanding ransoms to release your own files. Worse still, they're using double extortion tactics. So not only do they ask for money to decrypt your data, but they also threaten to leak your sensitive information if you don't pay. So one example is the one which is a spam email I got recently, which was about the Pegasus scam attack that they sent an email to me. I will link this video on the right hand corner so you can check it out and learn more about how did I uh, you know, safeguarded myself from falling as a prey to those uh, scammers. Now, the next thing is deep fakes and AI driven attacks. Imagine receiving a video call from, you know, one of your managers authorizing a major transaction, but it's fake created using deep fake technology. Now, these AI powered attacks are evolving fast, making it easier to manipulate and deceive. We're also seeing the use of like, you know, fake digital identities that can be used to carry out fraud or even like shift the public opinion. Now, tip number one to safeguard yourself is use a strong, unique password. Now, passwords are your first line of defense. So why make it easy for hackers? You know, weak passwords are like leaving your front door unlocked. So let's dive into how to make sure your accounts are secure. Number one, create complex passwords. Think longer and harder. Use a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols. Avoid the obvious like password one, two, three, or your birthday. Hackers do love those. Now use a password manager. Now managing multiple unique passwords is tough. And, but that's where tools like one password and then we have Dashlane, LastPass come in. So they generate, store, and even autofill your passwords. So you don't have to remember all of them. Plus, you can update them regularly without any hassles. Never reuse your passwords. If you're using the same password multiple, for multiple accounts, you have to stop now. A breach on one site could give hackers access to everything. So password managers make it easy to ensure that every account has its own unique password. 
Now, keep software and devices updated. Staying up to date is more than just hitting like install later. So software updates patch vulnerabilities that hackers love to exploit. Here's what you need to do. Enable your automatic updates, whether it's your operating system, apps, or security software. Set everything to update automatically. Don't delay, especially when it comes to the critical updates for things like antivirus softwares. Update your IoT devices, like your smart fridge or your you know, smart camera or your smart uh, air conditioner. It could be any other you know, devices that might seem harmless, but these are prime target for many hackers. Now regularly update the firmware on all your Internet of Thing devices to keep them secure. Don't forget your browser and extensions. This is extremely important. Now, outdated browser plugins are very are easy entry points for hackers. So make sure everything is up to date from your browser to all its extensions. Now, be wary of phishing attacks. Phishing attacks are one of the easiest ways for hackers to steal your personal information. So here's how you can avoid uh, falling as a victim. Check the URLs and the sender info. Now, before clicking on any link, hover over it to see whether it really leads. Uh, also, take a closer look at the email address. You know, scammers often make tiny changes, like, you know, replacing support at uh, paypal.com with support at PayPal with an extra L over there. So be cautious of attachments and links. Don't open attachments or clicks on link from unfamiliar senders, even if the email looks legit. If something seems off, it probably is. Now, use the email filtering and anti-phishing tools. So most email platforms like you know Gmail come with a built-in phishing filters. Make sure they're turned on. For extra protection, consider using the anti-phishing browser extensions. The next tip is you've got to secure your home network. Now, your home Wi-Fi could be a gateway for hackers. You know, let's make sure that door stays locked. So change your default router settings. Now, routers come with different, you know, usernames and passwords that are easy to find online. Change both your admin password and the Wi-Fi network name, which is the SSID, to something unique and strong. Use a WPA3 encryption. Make sure your router is using the latest encryption standard, which is the WPA3. It's more secure than the WPA2 and gives you like better protection. Set up a guest network. Now a guest network keeps your uh, main network safe by isolating your primary devices from the visitors that, who come in. Now it's an easy way to protect your sensitive data again. Now the next tip is protect your devices with antivirus and firewalls. Now antivirus and firewalls are like the bouncers of your digital world. They keep out the bad guys. Now here's how to maximize that effectiveness. Use a reputable antivirus software. You know, choose trusted options like Norton, Bitdefender, Kaspersky. Set your antivirus to automatically scan, download, and run full system checks regularly. Then you must enable your firewall. The next thing is most you know systems come with built-in firewalls. Make sure your firewall is enabled on the devices. For advanced protection, you can look into third-party solutions like Komodo or Sophos. That still works. Now monitor for the suspicious activities always. Now if your device starts acting weird, slower speeds, crashes, pop-ups, run a malware scan right away. Tools like Process Explorer can help you catch like suspicious activity before it becomes a problem. Now the next thing is use a VPN to for secure browsing. Now let's talk about a simple yet powerful way to protect your privacy online. Now using a VPN, a virtual private network encrypts all your internet traffic and hides your IP address, keeping you safe from prying eyes. Now here's how you can use it effectively. So choose a no logs VPN. So look for you know VPNs like the NordVPN, ExpressVPN, or Proton VPN, which don't track or log your online activities. Now this ensures even the VPN provider can't spy on your browsing or sell your data. Always use a VPN on a public Wi-Fi. Now public Wi-Fi networks like those in cafes, hotels, or airports are gold mines for hackers. Now a VPN will encrypt your data, making it unreadable to anyone who might try to snoop. Secure yourself 
from your ISP. Now your internet service provider or ISP can track your browsing data for marketing purposes. Using a VPN blocks ISPs from monitoring what you do online, giving you more control over your privacy. The next point is stay alert on your social media. So social media is fun but it can also be a breeding ground for cyber threats. Hackers are always on the lookout for personal information or spreading malware. So here's how you can stay safe. Regularly check your privacy settings. Always review your privacy settings on you know, the platforms like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. You know, limit who can see your post and make sure the sensitive details like your location or birth date are not public. Be mindful of oversharing. Now think twice before sharing your travel plan, your home address, your financial info online. Now hackers can easily use this information to identify uh, theft, identity theft, or social engineering attacks. Watch out for the social media scams. You know, be cautious of the messages from unknown contacts, especially if they include links or requests for money. Now, scammers love to use fake charity appeals or investment opportunities to trick people. The next point we have is enabling the multi-factor authentication, or as we commonly know as MFA. So, and multi-factor authentication is one of the best ways to safeguard your account by adding an extra layer of security. Here's how to make the most of it. Number one, enable the MFA on your important accounts. Now, turn on MFA for accounts like your email, bank, and social media. Major services like Google, Microsoft, Amazon offer this feature to prevent like any kind of unauthorized access. Now, use the Authenticator app over SMS. Now, instead of relying on SMS codes, which can be intercepted, use apps like Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator. Now, these apps provide one-time codes that are much more secure. Consider hardware keys for extra protection. Now, if you want to take it a step further, use a physical security key like a YubiKey. It adds an additional layer of protection against phishing and account takeovers. The next thing is backing up your important files regularly. Imagine losing you know, all your important files to a ransomware attack or hardware failure. Now, backups can save the day. Here's how you can stay prepared. Now, use a cloud storage for backups. Cloud services like Google Drive, Dropbox, and uh, OneDrive, they offer like encrypted storage options. So set up these automatic backups so your files are always safe without you having to think about it. Create local backups too. Now, use external hard drives or network-attached storage, or as we call as NAS, to back up important files locally. Now, just remember to disconnect the backup device when not in use to prevent it from getting infected with ransomware. Follow the 3-2-1 rule. Keep three copies of your data, two, uh, two on different media like cloud or external storage, and one off-site. Now, this ensures you'll always have a way to recover your data no matter what happens. Now, here are some essential tools that to help uh, help you protect yourself. You know, so first one is password managers. You know, one password, Dashlane, LastPass, manage complex passwords with very ease. Uh, the next is VPN services, like NordVPN, ExpressVPN, secure your internet connection and protect your privacy. The third is the backup solutions. Google Drive, OneDrive, you know, Dropbox, they automatically back up your files so to ensure that they're safe and can be restored when you need them. Let's take a summary of the cybersecurity tips and let's recap everything we have covered to help you stay safe online. First is use strong, unique passwords. Second, keep software and your devices updated. Third, beware of phishing attacks. Fourth, use your home network. Number five, use antivirus and firewalls. Number six is enable the multi-factor authentication. Number seven, back up important files regularly. Number eight, stay safe on social media. Now, staying secure online requires continuous attention and smart habits, but by following these simple steps, you will greatly reduce your chances of becoming a victim. Cybersecurity isn't a one-time task. Now, it's something you have to stay on top of as the threats evolve. Keep learning and updating your tools to stay ahead. 
I would love to hear from you. What cybersecurity tips do you follow? Share them in the comments and let me know if there's any topic you would like me to cover in future videos. And if you found this useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss on any of my future content. Stay safe online, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.